When climbing, we often use slings for self-belay at the stand. Since these are static, incorrect use can quickly lead to serious problems. Today, we want to take a closer look at this. Welcome to the Edelreed Knowledge Base. Here in our test facility, we have recreated the dangling in the self-belay. This down here is the drop mass representing the climber. This up here is the fixed point, and in between is the self-belay sling, which the climber uses to secure themselves at the rappel station. Now our climber is suspended in the tensioned self-belay sling and uses it as a static holding system. That's what it's intended for. However, if the climber ascends, the self-belaying sling is no longer taut. And if they fall, there is a dynamic load impact on them. So the self-belaying already fails at relatively low fall heights. The weakest point is the connection between the sling and the tie-in loop. Either the sling tears at the knot or it cuts through the tie-in loop. In this graphic, the fall heights at which failure occurs for the different materials are shown. You can see with Dyneema and Aramid, failure occurs more quickly than with polyamide. In general, a fall into the self-belaying sling is always problematic and must absolutely be avoided. If you want to climb past the anchor point, you can either secure with a dynamic rope or use a personal safety sling with an energy absorber.